Hello, my name is Jim Tolman and I work in the Smart Factory Lab. I was born in the Netherlands and I studied at the Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm. My background is in human-computer interaction and I will use some video material in order to talk to you for 15 minutes about the Smart Factory Lab and what we're trying to do. Let me first show you the faces of the people that I work with every day. The team of the Smart Factory Lab. Un lugar donde la producción y TI trabajan juntos. Wij assisteren jou in de digitale transformatie. Wij ons soutien scannen met de solutions innovatieve de l'industrie 4.0. In de cel moet regelen niet doen, scan je alleen op het moment regelen is harder te doen. Ons valoren is in principe de spelers toch zeker te presenteren in onze trabalen. Dat was het iets heel belangrijk voor ons. We hopen ooit bij te begrijpen te kunnen. Contribute to the idea inbox on Reflex. Kom ook hier naar Besuikers in Labbe in Zuid-Italië. One of the big strategic projects at Scania right now is digitalization, because we at Scania understand that the world is changing and we need to adapt with new digital tools. Sometimes it happens so fast, we don't even see it. Only when you stop and observe, you'll realize its full impact. We can travel faster than ever before without even moving. We can communicate with millions of people instantly. Today, glasses don't just improve our vision, they show us our imagination. What used to be manual, repetitive, and inefficient can now be automated. Trends can be spotted, analyzed, making future events predictable. We can make sustainable decisions for our planet based on real-time data. Businesses can expand their activities and develop into networks of information, providing whole new services. Digitalization is affecting everything around us. It integrates with every user experience. It's part of a seamless progression from then to now to tomorrow. At Scania, we see the opportunities. We are increasing our pace to take advantage of the changing digital landscape and all it can offer us. Now let me introduce you to José, my colleague, and Franz, our boss, who will talk about how we build up the lab in order to anticipate this change. Uh, in the end of 2018, we start to build this area. It's a five to six hundred square meters big. Uh, and in the beginning of, of uh, 2019, our CEO uh, opened up the lab for us. Uh, after the physical lab is built, now we need to create a, a way of working. Uh, and therefore, we, we have to have some aims and some goals. Uh, the Smart Factor Lab aims to be the first. Uh, uh, the first choice uh, solution arena for uh, Trayton end users. Trayton is the a brand that holds Volkswagen uh, trucks and bus, Scania and MAN. And we, uh, the goal here is to make our factories smart, uh, use new technologies to improve our productivity and just uh, produce better trucks with less deviations. Uh, to build this uh, concept or this vision, we have uh, based ourselves in a version of the Maslow pyramid in which uh, we go from uh, isolated uh, analog technologies. Uh, first analog, they go into isolated. We start to see in some of the pictures before, some of the machines can start to be connected. But uh, the step into digitalization is when all, all our systems start to interact with each other and communicate between each other. So there, the digital journey starts and is where we, we find ourselves today. And the further up we go, we start to have some data and we need to learn what we can do with this data. Where does this data go? How will it be transmitted to the different uh, stakeholders? Uh, once we have this, we want to have a, a factory in which we can predict the future, take better decisions using this data. And in a future world, we want to have a factory that uh, reacts and acts all by itself. 
it doesn't need intervention of a human being to be able to uh, move on. But uh, this is uh, a bit of theory, but how do we actually work with this in practice? We, t we tend to define the smart factory lab activities in Sotelli with four words, uh, adapt, evaluate, demonstrate, and implement. And these uh, are the four cornerstones, cornerstones of uh, how we work today. Um, we have built a process based on the Scania production system uh, that starts with uh, the idea management. Our ideas come from business, from production and logistics, but we also collaborate with other areas of Scania. Uh, these ideas are filtered and uh, made, made into an actual project or product that we want to evaluate, that we want to test. And we do some kind of planning to set up the, the goals and the scope for this uh, project. Once this is done, uh, we, do, we, we head into the core of the, the Smart Factory Lab, what we actually do here. We have some engineers that will uh, get their hands on this equipment. It can be both physical or it can be software. Uh, they will test it, they will evaluate it, and they will uh, just say if it's good enough for uh, moving on into a more uh, productive environment. If this is approved uh, and our business agrees with uh, the way we're working, then we will move into the scanner production system already existing process in which uh, we uh, take this uh, pre-study idea and we transform it into a mature product that can be uh, introduced in a production line. And then it, belongs to a, it be becomes a pilot for a couple of weeks, some months, in which we test this and then we evaluate the actual maturity for a production site. Many of pilots fail, but the ones that are successful, we want to be able to make them scalable and uh, transform them into a global solution. And therefore, we will have to go undergo several other steps in which uh, yeah, this technology is just prepared for a global introduction in Scania. Now, Jose and I will summarize what the lab is all about and give examples of projects we did. Welcome to the Smart Factory Lab, the place where business and IT truly come together. Uh, our team consists of a multidisciplinary group with employees from TE, Global Industrial Development, and IN, Order to Delivery IT. We accelerate the digital transformation of our factories, share good practice, and collaborate with Scania globally as well as with other Volkswagen brands. And the space that you see around us is an open space where people can uh, experiment and explore, find results and insights, and it, the space is open to everybody who wants to find new industry 4.0 use cases and business cases. The ideas come from the business side, we conduct a pre-study and then support with piloting and future implementations. And we use these digital solutions to improve the safety, the quality, the delivery, and we reduce the cost of production. Talking about this, today we can show you an example, so please follow with us. Today we will be helping an operator perform an assembly task in the rear axle assembly. Traditionally, the operators will receive instructions in the form of paper or screens that will give them drawings with examples of the operations that need to be performed. In this case, we will be using a projector, some cameras and sensors to uh, instruct the operator on what tasks need to be performed. Right now, you can start. Uh, Jim is receiving uh, visual instructions of the screws that he needs to be picking and uh, light is sh shine upon the holes where he needs to put these uh, screws. You now see a blinking red light uh, that indicates that a wrong screw has been placed. In this case, there was a, a wrong screw in the bin that contained the screws. Uh, once he placed the correct screw, the operation continues and Jim is able to finish the assembly task uh, by placing the last screw. So we see that with this light guidance system we can instruct workers and improve the safety, the quality and the productivity of a production line. And we're now testing this out in a productive environment. So we're bringing it from the lab to the production line. And next up is a video about an ultrasound beacon system for a digital Kaizen. Between 1948 and 1975, Tai Chi Ono and Aichi Toyoda developed a socio-technical system for continuous improvement. This way of working has been embraced around the world and also at Scania we have adapted it and incorporated it into our daily business. I had a discussion with two employees. Martin. Uh, my name is Martin Matthias. I work at the uh, SPS office here at Chassis Assembly. And Juan. And my name is Juan Luis Jimenez Sanchez and I work at the Smart Factory Lab. Uh, one of my tasks is uh, a Kaizen team leader. As part of the Kaizen, 
white collar workers and blue collar workers collaborate in order to achieve the same or a better result with less manual work. We have the blue color case and we are out uh, one week in the production and see how we can uh, optimize the positions. The technology that we are testing here today is uh, called the Marvel Mind Equipment, a type of RTLS or real-time location system that uh, yeah, can be used to collect data about the positioning of uh, a certain object or person or beacon. We work a lot with wastes, uh, finding wastes and optimize the positions. Any kind of operations can be the assembly line, the logistics. For the, the use case, the main use case that we see for this type of equipment is for getting a digital spaghetti diagrams. A spaghetti diagram is a drawing of the motion of a picker or an assembly worker. So the way it works, uh, the technology consists of a series of fixed sensors and then mobile ones. And basically we need to position the fixed sensors along a certain space that we want to track the position of a mobile sensor inside. Uh, in this case the technology works with ultrasound, which uh, means that uh, it doesn't get disrupted by other radio frequencies, but it needs a, a good line of sight. Martin and Juan think that this digital tool can support the existing Kaizen methods. This is a part of our continuous uh, improvements. We all, always want to... Uh, uh, go to the next level. I think uh, uh, the use of digital tools can definitely help us in our work. Uh, I think a, a good uh, thing is that you can store it digital for future reference. In order to set it up it takes uh, five minutes or less. You just need to find a good placement uh, for the beacons and then using uh, straps or using tape you can just quickly set in the location. To see how you can actually see straight on the, on the computer how the, the picker is moving. We can see it's more effective, it's going to save us time. One person can actually follow several pickers or samples at the same time. I mean, that's a big uh, advantage. You can find more information about these digital spaghetti diagrams on Reflex. And here is an example of using a camera to detect if the right label is put in the right position with the right orientation. A colleague in Brazil made a setup for this. It's using a standard webcam and a standard laptop. And now I'm going to do some demonstration in my desk and on how the system works. Okay, and as you can see, the first label is red because it represents number one, two is green, and P is blue, and the little truck is uh, yellow. So if I change the orientation, the color, colors change, meaning that the orientation is different. And if I put on 90 degrees, it changes, it changes too. So we can have a lot of uh, information. So if I cover one of them, it's very performatic, it's, it's real time, okay? In order to build something like this, we will need a lot of images of the labels or the objects that we would like to identify. We need to describe them so that the computer can understand what is in the images. And then we're gonna train a model and we can deploy that on any computer system. We're introducing a platform together with the Volkswagen Group to make this type of work very easy. So in 2021, we will see a lot of implementations where a camera is gonna check, is the right label in the right place? Is the right part assembled? Is the right logistics item in the box? Otherwise the process cannot continue and this will improve the quality and the productivity of the Scania factories. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have learned something about the Spark Factory Lab here at Scania.